Why are your white blood cells chronically low? Step one, anytime I'm evaluating a CBC abnormality is I want to know are other cell lines affected? And in the case of a white blood cell abnormality, I need to know the differential. On a CBC, you're gonna be reported out the total white blood cell count and then the subtypes in the differential. So in this case, she mentions that her A and C or absolute neutrophil count seems to be what's chronically low, but the other blood cells on the CBC, so the red blood cells and the platelets and the red blood cell indices, influence how I might think about a chronic neutropenia. The other most important thing is whether the patient is having any symptoms. Symptoms of chronic neutropenia are a usually recurrent bacterial infections such as pneumonia, sinusitis, skin infections, abscess. But most of the time when I see patients with uh, this problem, they um, are asymptomatic. They've not been having any issues. They've had routine CBCs checked. And in fact, it may be that when their CBCs were checked when they were ill, their white count was actually normal. So if I have a patient who has a chronic mild neutropenia, meaning their neutrophil count is between 1.0 and 1.5, asymptomatic with no uh, recurrent infections, the things I consider next, how long has it been going on? So ideally, I'd like to look at CBCs dating back several years. Have there been any new medications? Uh, because numerous medications can cause this. What is the patient's age? As we age, our risk of developing chronic blood cancers does go up. For example, myelodysplastic syndrome is generally considered to be a disease of aging. So if I have a 20 year old showing up in my clinic with this scenario, uh, my suspicion for MDS is extremely low versus an 80 year old where I'm going to be much more likely to get a bone marrow biopsy. After age, I need to know the clinical history of the patient beyond just what I already mentioned about infection. Have they had a gastric bypass that would put them at risk for uh, B12 deficiency? Are they taking high dose zinc supplementation causing copper deficiency? Uh, do they have inflammatory bowel disease? In order to really figure out the cause for something, I can't just look at a CBC. The CBC gives me hints, the CBC gives me starting places. But to figure out what's going on, uh, a comprehensive evaluation of a patient, including their medical history and their symptoms, is required. To make a separate video about benign neutropenic conditions and specifically what we used to call benign ethnic neutropenia, but which we now call Duffy antigen null associated neutrophil count. Follow for more information about blood.